Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you another brief update. This is the Factory 5 Racing Type 65 Coupe. Uh, so this is a tribute car to the Shelby Daytona. Um, so we've been going along with all the, uh, all the different stages. In the earlier video we were talking about having to do some fiberglass repair to the front when we cut in and uh, leveled everything out and refiberglassed it and we were doing body work and we've continued with that. So because our client lives further away, we're just going to do a, a brief walk around because we've made lots of progress since the last video. So we did have some body filler on here uh, where the different joints are um, and it wasn't really close enough so you basically put on layers, light layers at a time and block sand it out. So we've got a lot more done there. Um, along the front nose and along this lower portion. So we just had that first coat on if you recall in the other video. So we've done two more layers. You do a nice light coat, you block it all out and then you put another coat on and so you can see it's getting a lot closer there now. It's really hard to tell in the video. It's more of a feel kind of deal but we've ever, we blocked everything out at 180 grit sandpaper. So it's still a ways to go because before you paint it it's 600 grit. So there's a ways to go, but the shape is definitely there. So um, on the driver's side front, we'll basically just kind of come around here. So on the driver's front, if you recall, there was a chunk missing from shipping. I think something was uh, probably done at the factory. So we repaired the fiberglass in behind. There's a little gob of, um, of body filler on there now. That's just to fill in a couple little air pockets or bubbles that we had. So we'll sand that out next. So that's a, had all new fiberglass matting put in and we'll go around the hoist here, around to the, to the driver's side. Up on the roof, if you recall, there is um, a lot of high and low spots across the back of the roof and um, the main seams coming across here. Now this looks like there's a lot of material but you had to go that wide because of the, um, the indentation where they joined. So um, that's all feathered out and very, very close. You can see this is still, um, this uh, appeared to be really high and that appeared to be low. And now you kind of get a contrast where you can see the red and then you can see the body smoother, the different colors. So they're representing filling in the lower spots. So it gives you an idea of how far away the body really was when it came in the crate compared to what they kind of promote saying that it doesn't take very much uh, body work. So that's all coming along quite nicely and we've got a nice shape here and we don't have crazy ruts. When we come to the back on the upper quarter panel, same kind of idea and around the back seam we have this a lot closer and this is something that's kind of exciting for our customer. Um, the Factory 5 suggests or promotes this rear spoiler um, as something that you just rivet on. And uh, I don't like that kind of tack on look. We like that finished look and our client and I discussed it. We're molding it in so it's going to be part of the body so it's going to look like it's all one unit. And it's coming along quite nicely now. I'll just move this glass a little bit. Um, so what we've done is we, we fiberglassed it and we glued it first and then we had the fiberglass matting which I think I shared in the earlier video and then we sanded all that out and then we've added some body smoother and then started blocking it out. So we don't have the crazy ripples anymore. We don't have that big bump here and low because we tapered down the fiberglass and then feathered it out. So there's not a whole lot of body filler here and it's so much nicer cleaner look in my opinion. Um, once again probably hard to see in the video but this is uh, a, a quite a bit smoother look. As we come along the back, the lighting I apologize probably isn't the greatest. Uh, there is a bunch of pinholes along here and you can see I put some more body filler on there. Um, there's air pockets in some of the edges or seams so we broke away all the air pockets and then we're putting some filler in there just to make sure that all the air pockets are taken care of and then this area here is becoming uh, quite a bit smoother than it was so still some some smoother work we're going to need to add in sand but that's getting a lot better too and that's going to be a really nice overall look in my opinion and then we come along to the passenger rear quarter this is the side that was worse. A uh, lot more work has taken place here. Same idea, can't really tell in the video, 
but um, this is almost perfectly smooth now in terms of transition going from here to the rear spoiler. So that is going to look exactly like it was built in. If you recall in the earlier video, um, there's a lot of seam marks here and there's a lot of high and low spots. So same idea. You can see the color is filling in where it was low. The red is where it's the normal height. So we've kind of got all the, uh, the hills and valleys corrected. And in this section, the quarter panel had some ripples in it from the mold. And that's why you see a little bit here. But overall, we're not using crazy amounts of body filler. Um, and then same thing up here in the roof line coming across. And then that seam along the back. So this is coming along quite nice. And same idea as the driver's side. You can see a little bit of the red showing through. But then that body filler is... Uh, showing you or representing all the low spots that have to be corrected. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is the doors. We talked about it briefly um, in earlier video. So we, they um, make these larger than they need to be and then you basically trim them back and you dry fit them. And so we had uh, trimmed them back and we did some sanding and then you see here which is kind of disappointing. So um, this is uh, a no-no kind of thing in the industry. So there's a big gaping hole in there. So um, normally you'll get something like this, and I think it'll probably come up in the camera. There's a there's an air pocket there. So they this is all hand-laid fiberglass. So when you lay the fiberglass and work it in, there's always air. So you expect to have little tiny things like that. And then you basically sand them out, and you either use a two-part 3M uh, adhesive to fill it in, um, or you use body filler. Um, but normally it's just tiny little things like this, but then you get these gaping holes and I don't like that at all. So um, believe it or not on the driver's side the whole uh, edge from from the top all the way to the bottom had that gate that gap in between So we didn't want to rely on body filler. So there's a black Adhesive so it's a two-part epoxy adhesive made specifically for fiberglass bonding That's the material that we used to attach the rear spoiler to the body and that's the same product that we used uh, to fill that whole seam in on the driver's side and then once that dries after 24 hours we're going to sand it and refinish it you won't know any different and we're going to do the same thing here I just wanted to show uh, the video there so you got to be really careful when you're looking at these because you get air pockets in them if you get hollow spots you definitely want to deal with that so we'll be putting the 3M adhesive um, in that area later. You can see we've done lots of sanding. It's no longer the bright red, it's now the flat red. So we've done lots of uh, sanding all the way around to see if there's any flaws or imperfections. Um, we've got the seam done along both windshield posts. The top of the cowl is very close now too. And then you notice from here along the front, um, we haven't done anything with that yet. I basically stopped here. The reason for that is we haven't had a chance yet to uh, dry fit the wiper upgrade. So uh, we're in Ontario, it's required to have wipers. So um, the client has purchased through Factory 5 the kit. So we're going to be do, doing um, the installation of that sometime in the, in the upcoming week where we'll measure, mark, drill the holes. We'll, we'll uh, basically install the whole unit, make sure it fits properly, there's clearances, and then we'll remove all the product um, and then I'll, I'll sand all this and we'll continue on the bodywork. Same thing with the windshield. You can see the frame. We went ahead and we've sanded everything. Uh, we've got a little bit more sanding to do on the driver's side. And then once we um, um, have the wipers done, we're probably going to set the windshield in because we don't want to have the same concern we had as the back glass. If you recall in an earlier video, the glass didn't fit the opening. So we want to make sure that uh, the windshield will fit properly. If there's any mods we need to make on the fiberglass, this will be the, uh, the time to deal with that. And as we come along the uh, passenger side front, you can see this nose now is considerably better than it was. So in the earlier video, if you remember right from the very beginning, um, there was this, this uh, seam here and it was basically out a lot, like a quarter inch kind of thing. And then what we did is we, we did a relief cut and cut all the way across. We flattened it out or basically um, seamed it the way it should have gone originally. Uh, we had a couple screw holes. We screwed it together. We refiberglassed it from the back side uh, and we used an adhesive along the seam here 
and then we started the body smoothing and sanding. So um, in an earlier video when the camera person was gone, if, if the camera person just stays there, uh, I'm going to lift this front hood. In the earlier video that we did previous to this, I talked about repairing it, but I don't think it showed because of the, uh, the lighting wasn't very good. So now you can see um, there's, we put some body filler in here just for the finishing little bit. Um, this has no bonding strength. All of the bonding has been done here with the fiberglass matting and resin. So that's the back side and you can see there's quite a bit of a repair and we went quite a distance uh, to make sure it was strong. And so now we've got basically double uh, the strength it had before. And uh, so with that being all repaired, then we went ahead and uh, started block sanding all of those uh, outside pieces. And you can see how nice the, the hood opens and closes now compared to before. Okay, so now we've got that set down. So coming along really nice. So we've got this uh, quite close now. So we're, we're going to continue with a little more sanding. And then we're going to mask a lot of the areas. And then what it's going to require soon, which is kind of exciting, is uh, we're going to apply high build primer, a two-part high build primer, gray color and uh, we'll, we'll spray all of the areas that have the body filler on it and make sure everything is masked properly. Uh, we're not going to prime everything at this point. We're just going to be priming all of the repaired areas. So in the next video, we'll have high build primer on these areas and then we'll share with you um, how we're going to go ahead and, and continue on the body to get it smoother and then get ready to the paint stage. So lots of progress. This is the Factory 5 Racing Type 65 Coupe. I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceOnRestore.com.